Right there guys, so you've seen it on the title already. Um, this is just a quick walk around on the Prado. So here's my 90. Ta-da! <laughs> um, there's not much to talk about really. It's, this is a very simple setup. But I really appreciate you guys messaging me, um, asking some questions and stuff about the Prado. So I ended up uh, making this video. So let's work ourselves um, around, I guess. So yeah, the most common asked question. What wheels and tires I am running? Um, so they are Cooper Discovery STT Pros. They are 28575R16s with 16 by eight negative 22 offset. The reason being for that is if you can see it right here um, so on the factory guards is just um, a little bit of poke which I do like about it uh, rather than the zero offset that the tires are way inside the guard and yeah I am running two inch lift uh, it's uh, um, a mix of Dobinson's Two inch lift springs and um, raw predator at the back it's uh, shock observers of Monroe and Dobinson's again uh, lights let's go on the lights pretty much I have just a very simple and basic setup just a light bar and some LED uh, spotties I guess or fog lights they're not um, really a fog light but the reason I have set up this ones here are pretty handy because I can twist this one, pivot it here or and the other one on the other side. Reason being, if you're doing night run like uh, last time that I did, um, so I have set up this one pointing that way, in which case it will um, light up that side and that one pointing this way. Well, that's just me, and that's just a simple setup. Could have done better, but it is what it is at the moment. Because uh, I am planning to put a bar work or front bar uh, in the future. Well, in the future, that's been my plan for like ages, but it's still running a factory bar. I was about to keep the um, keep the factory look and just put a winch inside, but see how it goes. Uh, but definitely I will put in um, more bar work in the future put in a slider on it but yeah on the tracks I am doing um, I just you know I'm just using it and um, thankfully I have not damaged my sills yet but definitely recommend it to just put in sliders in there for sill protection and yeah Pretty much um, inside the bonnet, it's just a pretty standard 1KZTE 3.0 turbo diesel. Um, I have done nothing inside, so no point opening the bonnet. The bonnet. <laughs> um, it's a plastic uh, snorkel. And uh, let's go to the back. Oh, inside, it's a pretty much standard inside it is all stock apart from adding a fire extinguisher and first aid kit and yeah the awning is 2.5 by 2.5 by RMR um, I could have gone for the uh, 2 meters by 2.5 just so it's not sticking out on the rear but yeah I've used it for the, for the family anyway so that works for me and just on the roof tray um, this is just a generic roof tray I've um, helped someone out during lockdown so I've got it really cheap and but uh, how do you call it originally I am going to put in uh, put in a uh, roof roof tray on it rooftop tent tray there you go so that but 
I'm not much into camping at the moment. Um, yeah, life is um, going on. But I generally use the tray for uh, recovery tracks, putting in there gears, as I use the eight seater on this one. And hence, yeah, there's not much really going on inside. Um, radio, I use a handheld radio. And uh, oh yeah, exhaust. So pretty much the exhaust is uh, uh, standard so um, it's a factory exhaust coming in through here up to here it's cut and it's a three inch exhaust going through at the back and the resonator just at the back and yeah I think pretty much that's it um, now why did I buy a Prado well uh, to be honest, when I was starting out in uh, doing overlanding and stuff, you know, I have used a Honda Honda Fit, and yeah, pretty much when we go on the gravel road and stuff, there's like off tracks where I wish I had a four wheel drive, something like that, and yeah, there you go, boom, there's the Prado, it's born, and a little bit backstory of it, I am. Um, in between of choosing a Pajero, a, a Bighorn, and a Prado, and uh, yeah, I just ended up on a Toyota because yeah, it's a Toyota. <laughs> um, uh, Reliability-wise, they say 1KZ is common to crack on cylinder heads. It is true, but at the same time, I believe if you put in Preventing uh, preventive maintenance work on it, it will last you a long time, and um, yeah, pretty much, yeah, it's just easy to work on given it's a 90s vehicle, it's not a 2012 or much electronics in it, and yeah, there you have it, guys. Um, if you guys like this video, don't forget to hit the like button at the same time hit that subscribe button until next time guys. See ya